here? We are in the Wall of Wings. It's part of the uh, McGuire Center. And uh, we are the largest uh, butterfly research facility in the United States. We have uh, 16 million specimens of butterflies. We uh, do research on butterflies here. And the most exciting part of the museum is the uh, Special Projects Lab, which raises butterflies. All continents send us the uh, larvae. People go, how do you get live butterflies here in the mail? Well, the answer is, we don't. We get the larvae, which is the caterpillars. And they, they come in. Um, then we glue them on paper. You can see them hanging up in the rearing lab. And then they, the chrysalis morphs. You know, we have the egg, the larvae, the pupa, and then the caterpillars, the life cycle. I like live things, which is why I like working in the butterfly rainforest. We, we're constantly raising butterflies. Their lifespan is only about three weeks in here. The, the butterfly life cycle is typically between one to maybe three months at the most. We've got the Shouse Swallowtail, the Miami Blue, and the Atala Hair Streak, and we're raising all of them here in the lab right now. Currently we have a Miami Blue project going, which has been dormant for 10 years. We just came across a population of Miami Blue butterflies in Bahia Honda Park. They were brought here and now we have a couple of hundred of them here in the lab. We're trying to coordinate a way to get them released back in the wild with the USDA and the National Park Service. Since they're endangered animals, there's a lot of paperwork, but we're very successful here now.